What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. I have a very special pair of boots to show you guys today. It is my favorite pair of boots of all time. And of course, I am talking about the Hypervenom Phantom 3 in the low cut colorway, thanks to at the boot nerd on Instagram who was able to get me these. I saw them on the story and basically just purchased them right away because they were in my size and they're my favorite boots. So Hypervenom Phantom 3 low cut. We will get straight into the unboxing. I'm so excited to have another pair of these on my feet. I haven't actually had the low tops on my feet in a long time. So very, very stoked for this. So let's just jump into the unboxing straight away. So we got a silver box and um, the Hypervenom Phantom 3, uh, especially the, this is the elite model obviously. So it comes in this silver box. You've got the Hypervenom Phantom 3 Elite FG, men's nine, women's 10 and a half. It's a UK eight and a Euro 42.5. Uh, very basic uh, silver box that you get with all the Nike Elite shoes up until um, up until today even. So that's, that's something to uh, not really worry too much about. So let's just get straight into it. So we unbox them. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are so sick. Okay, so this is what they call, let me look at the box actually. This is what they call the, the crimson and metallic dark gray colorway. So crimson and metallic dark gray. These are, I actually had the soft ground of this exact pair that I wore back in Spain. So that would have been the summer of 2000, like summer and early fall of 2018. These are, this is obviously the hyperreactive plate with the, which is the FG variation, which you get a combination of bladed studs through the midfoot. You've got these conical studs through uh, the medial part of the foot or on the medial side. And then obviously on the lateral side, you have the chevron studs, which is very, very cool. But those are uh, a good look at the Hypervenom Phantom 3s. We'll get these really quick out of the box. There you go. Boot number two, amazing. And then the string bag for this particular boot is actually really cool. I'm glad they, they went with the opposite color. So they went with a gray and then the crimson logo on there with hypervenom. So pretty cool. All right, we'll jump, get this box out of the way, get this string bag out of the way, throw that right here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the Hypervenom Phantom 3. So a couple tech specs about Hypervenom Phantom 3. Um, there's a bunch of newspaper in here, so I won't show you quite yet, but these are super, super soft boots. It's an entirely fly knit upper, and they've got um, these little sense pods, basically, which are re what they called, I think, reactive foam. And what it was supposed to do is depending on the type of shot and the the firmness of the boot hitting the ball so how hard you shot the ball they would fir the foam would firm up or be softer depending on how you kicked the ball right and what that did was that really gave you a literal little extra or supposed to give you a little extra umph when you hit the ball and hit shots and stuff these boots were made sort of for the agility player and the striker so Harry Kane, uh, Rooney, if he had been playing, would have worn these boots. And uh, so, so that's kind of who this was meant for, is like the all-out striker. Uh, I imagine that Neymar would have loved wearing this pair of boots because this is uh, obviously went back to the vapor after Hypervenom 2, but Hypervenom 3 was truly, in my opinion, the, the natural successor to Hypervenom 1, which was obviously the Nike skin upper. If you haven't seen that review, I just released it last week. So this will be a very, very, very cool review for you guys as well, just to follow up. But I think this was really the successor to that boot because it featured this total fly knit upper and it had so all of these little pods, and especially these ones right here, were that um, the, those uh, those little foam pods in each of these each of these little areas where the silver accents is. So it really is a boot, as you can see. 
it's a little bit wider, especially in this toe box area right through here. And then because it's a fly knit upper, it really did a good job. Even though it does look a little bit thin, it did do a really good job of stretching through this midfoot area right on the outside, which was something that for wide footed players is uh, really, really spectacular. So you had the flywire cables too. So the flywire cables um, are right where the, it's, it's, that's I think the one flaw of this boot. So see how the lace holes right here is just built into the fly knit upper. The one thing that I think was my complaint and a lot of other people's complaint is because the lace loops are actually the fly wire cables that run the length of this upper. So similar to the old super flies and some of the Tiempo elites, they use fly wire cables for lateral stability, which is why this boot was so incredible. The issue is that these fly wire cables, when you're pulling the laces tight, get constant pressure on them. And if somebody were to cleat you in this area, I had a couple pairs actually up here that snapped off. And so what happened was when those got snapped off then the lacing system's all weird and i had to poke holes in the upper to actually make it work again and it was just kind of a weird thing but um, that's a very small price to pay as far as i'm concerned with how incredible these boots were uh, and how they fit they're really lightweight they're right around the seven ounce mark and they really did a good job of creating the most custom fit you could possibly have. And I think uh, for most players, I have super wide feet. I know thin footed players who liked vapors, but actually wore these instead because they liked these ones better. Um, and I just, I cannot express how unbelievably happy I am to have another pair of low tops because the low tops for me are the, the goat boot. I love the high tops, don't get me wrong. I have a couple pairs of those as you guys know. The low tops though are the goat boot in my opinion for my feet. I just, for whatever reason, I fit in this boot better than any other boot on the market. And um, thank you to the boot nerd for, uh, for getting me these so quickly that it was, a, it was a really easy process. So definitely go check out the boot nerd on Instagram if you are looking for boots like this and other, other retro boots, which is cool. So hyper reactive sole plate, as I mentioned before, this was an awesome sole plate to that performed really well on FG, AG, um, and I had the soft ground variation of this one, uh, which was actually the hybrid stud. So it looked like this, but it just had steel studs here, here, and up front. And then you had the, the mixed studs as well. But this sole plate, for whatever reason, I think really does a good job of creating really nice lateral movement on the pitch while also giving you enough of these bladed studs here in the midfoot and then on the lateral side these lateral side these chevron studs of giving you really good push off and really good acceleration as well and so that's the feeling of the underfoot in these boots is really really nice and they have this reinforced little uh, bar through the midfoot not really a bar, but it's like a reinforced area through the midfoot that adds a little bit of strength to that and doesn't allow as much snap back. And then uh, you do have a little more flexibility through the forefoot as well, just so you can really push off and move forward. So I'm going to take the, uh, the paper out of here just so I can explain what it is that, uh, how, like how soft these are. There's quite a lot of newspaper, which was actually funny because boot nerd texted me and was like, yo, sorry, I left all the newspaper in there. And I was like, it doesn't matter to me. As long as the boots get here, I can take out the newspaper, not a problem. And I imagine there might be questions about, hey, how'd you get these? Did they source them for you? You know, did boot nerd source them for you? All this stuff. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I saw these on the boot nerd story and literally messaged right away and was like, I'm ready to go. Like, let's, I'm just going to pay for them right now. Cause I want these so bad. Uh, here we go. Okay. So upper softness. So this is just ridiculous. Like this boot is yes, it's all fly knit. So there shouldn't be any reason why it's so soft, but look at that all the way to the back. Obviously the heel is, is much stiffer which is a great thing, but the entire upper is so soft. And then with the additions of the fly wire cables, which I believe, yeah, let's see. 
I think you might be able to see them in there, hopefully, maybe. Mm, it's a little bit dark, that's okay. But with the addition of the Flywire cables, uh, which you can see through the upper a little bit that just run in the same direction as these little foam pod things on either side, this, the softness of this upper with the lateral stability really did provide the most incredible feeling and, and does, it's a, it's a present tense, really does give you the best fitting football boot in my opinion on the market. That's why I buy these every time I see them in my size because they're really that good. And uh, yeah, I would like to wear these for the rest of my professional career. I really hope that I can. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing what the new Phantom GT3s look like whenever they come out. I think my guess is they'll be out in a couple months, six months at most, maybe for the World Cup. And then the Vapor 15s, the brand new ones with the Air Zoom that just came out, those should be arriving in the next week or so. Um, I should have them by the time this video actually releases, so I'll be working on that review as well. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to compare those to these because for me, these are my grail boot. These are the most comfortable boots I've ever worn by, by like a long shot. Like nothing else even compares to this for whatever reason. These are just my, these are just my favorite boots. So. What we're going to do is we're going to hop into the on feet portion of the video in my living room and I'll give you guys a chance to look at what a brand new unbroken in pair looks like on my feet and how well it fits without being broken in and then of course we'll go to the pitch and we'll do a little bit of a uh, play test or a little bit of um, yeah a little bit of messing around with the ball and I'll talk about what it's like on turf and what this sole plate feels like with the artificial ground over at the college. All right, fam, so here we are in my living room with the Hypervenom Phantom. Oh, one more piece of this. Boot nerd, if you're watching, don't worry about it. It's just a piece of paper. <laughs> uh, okay, so Hypervenom Phantom 3. Very excited to get these on my feet. Uh, I'm wearing some Zypher shorts and socks. If you guys want 10% off any grip socks, we sorted out the shipping cost, so it's much less than it used to be. Definitely go check it out. First link in the description for those. So here we go. Let's just put these straight on feet. I'm wearing the non-grip variation of the socks just to give you guys an easy, an idea of what they're like just to fit perfectly in. Ooh, there goes my knees. Hopefully you didn't hear that over the camera. And slides right in. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love these shoes so much. I love these shoes so much. <laughs> They're so nice. There you go. Untied. Perfect. Absolute perfection in a football boot. I am so excited to have these. Oh, goodness. Okay. Get my other foot in there. There you go. Okay. So here's the... We'll get them tied up as well just so you guys can see what they look like on feet. And we'll go from there. So there's, there we go. I won't tie them too tight, but get these on. Um, they are a little bit tight in the toe box. That is something that hypervenoms tend to do. They're a little bit more pointy in this area right there, which is not a problem at all um, because the fly knit breaks in really well after a couple, like an hour or so of wear time. I can wear these straight into a game and be totally fine. My Feet will definitely be sore afterwards, but it's not that big of a deal. And basically what happens in the break-in period, for me at least, is that the boots stretch along this area right here and really allow my toes to kind of spread out a little bit so I can really feel the ball much better. Um, my toe is right up on the end there on Hypervenom 3, and there you go. There is Hypervenom Phantom 3 low on feet they fit so well there's no space that's like all i can put my just like the thumbnail or finger right there there's no space there so it fits beautifully lockdown in the heel is excellent the sole plate feels so good underfoot really gives you that good lateral stability lateral traction while not compromising on any sort of uh, rotational ability because you do have those conical studs on your the the toe area right there 
So that is, uh, that's what they look like. I love this colorway. I think this is honestly one of the best colorways they came out with. I do, I do really like the blue ones that I have, the, the, high, the high top ones that are the royal blue with the black and the silver. I think those look really amazing as well, but these are definitely up there. I, I think these look so sick. They're such an awesome fitting pair of football boots and I am gonna do everything I can to get my hands on another pair of these and to continue to purchase them when they come around. So that's kind of where we're at with that one. Um, I love these boots, guys. If you can't tell already, I'm so excited to have these. And uh, what really makes these so much better to me than a lot of other boots is they're simple, like the Phantom GT tried to be, but the sizing is really good, the shape of the boot is really good, the sole plate is better than the GTs, and they put flywire cables in there so there's a lot of lateral stability while not compromising on the softness of the upper. So as you can see up close, I can move my feet pretty well. Um, I don't know if you can see that really on camera, but I can move my toes up and down. Once they're broken in, these boots get really, really soft, super nice on feet, and they do a really good job of wrapping your foot in all the little spaces that makes your foot unique, right? So if you've got a bone that sticks out here, or if you've got really wide feet on the outside, it's no problem. These boots do a great job at making sure that your foot gets wrapped really, really well in that fly knit. And I think that's what the original fly knit, like this stuff and like the stuff that was on the original Obra One, that's what these boots do really well, is they really provide a customizable fit for any sort of foot-shaped players, right? So anybody from a thin foot could fit in this all the way up until me and even people with wider feet, which I think is super, super awesome and what makes these particular boots really unique. So I, when I was in college, one of my favorite colorways was the, I wore the, it was almost like a gray, light, light gray, light blue combination with navy and then like a crimson swoosh. And those ones I had two or three pairs of that I just rotated between my senior year in college. And those were my favorite. Uh, those were one of my favorite colorways. And then obviously I had the, uh, the soft ground variation of these when I was in Spain. I had the bright red ones that were really cool and had a couple other different pair, all black pair and all that stuff. But these are such an awesome colorway and I'm so excited to wear these in uh, I'll probably wear these in my first professional game back, which if it hasn't happened already, is coming very soon. I've got this huge grin on my face because uh, as of the filming of this video, today is July 1st. There's been some really cool advancements in career stuff and I am going to be getting signed really soon by a team which I'll announce uh, very soon as well. So very exciting things coming up. Let's hop into the field portion of the video where I can really talk about what makes these special with on-ball movement, why I like them so much, and then what I'm also gonna do is I will probably bring the Phantom GT 2s out and sort of explain where they went wrong, why, what the sort of little subtle differences are, and then we'll kind of go from there. So let's, uh, let's take these out on pitch. All right, fam, so out at the pitch right now, very excited to get these on feet. This turf field uh, from the local high school is actually pretty good. There's some pretty decent length to the, uh, the turf, so that's something to think about as well when you're using an FG pair of studs on an AG pitch. But immediately, as I said before, when I was in my house, I put these on and my foot just fits perfectly. Yes, there's a little bit of hot spot in the areas, in the wide areas where it's gonna break in a little bit, but for the most part, this boot is just perfect fitting right out of the box. I can wear these no issues um, straight into a training session or a game, which is pretty unique for my foot shape. And I very, very often don't have that uh, as the case. So that's something to think about as well. Um, very, very important to get boots that fit you properly. And if you can find a pair of boots that fits you as well as these fit me, I would recommend getting, I'm still hitting myself in the forehead every time. Um, I think about not purchasing 20 pairs of these when I, when they first were my favorite boot and 
not just making them the boot that I wore from, because now I have to find them on the aftermarket, blah, 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 right? So touch on the ball with these is impeccable. I love the firmness that the foam offers, the softness that the foam offers, but also the really tight fly knit feel. It really does feel like you're just playing with a sock, which is really cool. The touch on the ball is fantastic. And because of the off-center lacing system, you really do get a nice striking area to get some good shots and long balls passing with these boots. Everything is really simple on these boots, but they're also really fantastic from the standpoint of um, just, just touches on the ball on in every angle, right? So no matter what you're doing, it really is one of the best boots I think that Nike's ever made, just from a standpoint of performance and of course from fit as well. So excuse the wind noise, hopefully it's not super loud, but um, but yeah, so the, the again, these boots are lovely. I can't wait to play in them in my first professional game uh, back soon, very, very soon. So I'm gonna be definitely breaking these in and getting these ready for, for the professional game because my goodness, I love how these fit and feel. Very, very excited for them. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to say other than if you are a boot dealer and you are watching this and you know how to source more of these for me, hit me up at noah.cavanaugh or comment down below and I'll hit you up because if you can get me more pairs of these, that would be amazing. These are my grail shoe. This is the shoe that I love the most. Um, that I wear all the time. But um, so I know I mentioned earlier in the review that I was going to take a GT out. I realized that I have gotten rid of all my GTs because uh, Phantom GTs, for those of you who uh, are fast forwarding to the on feet portion of the video. Um, but for Phantom GTs, the difference is pretty shocking. The thinner, this is a little bit thicker feeling. So it does feel a little less barefoot than a Phantom GT or GT2, but that's a often because of the foam, the little foam pods that are part of the upper, which I prefer. Some of you might prefer a boot that's a little more on the little more on the thin side, in which case I would just go for a Vapor instead of going for a GT, because the GT really is kind of a boot that needs to be discontinued or needs to get a really big rework done to it. Um, so that's what I'd say the biggest comparison is between that one and this one. This one is definitely better fitting. The heel is fantastic. It's so much better than the GT. The knit on this one feels a lot more premium and a lot more uh, tough than the GT does. The GT is much more thin and really kind of relies on that you know, generative texturing, which kind of shows up in this boot anyway like you get the about the same amount of grip if not more on these boots than you do on the gt1 or gt2 which i think is kind of kind of hilarious actually given the circumstance of like you know these are three years older or four years older than those ones are and yeah i just i think these fit so well they feel so good on feet and i'm super stoked to be able to wear these in training and in games um, and re and really really get back to wearing these full time because I absolutely love it. If you enjoyed reviews like this where I take retro boots or my own favorite boots and review them, definitely hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. As always guys, be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.